There should be whole churches, but they're not. There should be whole churches that are organized to pray against just Harry Potter alone. Or, praying and fasting is even better. There, there should be whole... But see, the church is so self-centered and so, so delusional... They don't even concern themselves with these things. They don't, they don't even devote any time. I mean, I can only do so much as one person. We're all called to different parts of the body of Christ. I can't do it all. And one particular Christian can't. But could you imagine what the world would be like if Christians really got together and started delegating authority like the body of Christ should? And I don't mean one ruling over another. I mean everyone in his own place in the body of Christ. If you're, if you're a uh, prayer warrior, whatever you are, you know, if you're going to fast and pray, you could do these types of things and pray against this stuff. Oh, oh, what are we supposed to do? Pray for it? That it prosper? So, this book has continued to win major awards in England. You know, all these accolades... Uh, this is just more... It's, it's, what? Some have compared it to Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan, and other famous children's adventurous books. Oh, these blow away any of that, as far as, I'm sure as far as net sales. However, the comparison is weak and not relative considering the content and the underlying message of power through the occult is available and is good. See, that's the underlying message. Power through the occult, through the dark arts, is available and it's good. You can use it because you're a good witch. The books are well written and has certainly and has a certain attraction to capture those of young ages to be infatuated with it. This is why so many have said it's good because it's promoting reading to children who are normally not interested. Oh yeah, that's one I've, I've oh little Johnny's finally reading. He's never read before. I forgot to even touch on that subject. You know. Yeah, that's good. Let's get him good and demon possessed. But at least you know he'll burn in hell forever. But at least he'll be a great reader. Reading ain't gonna be able to help him in hell. You know. Uh, however, it is the content of the story that needs to be questioned for the very same reason as it is targeting the very young. Rowling's new Harry Potter novel is the fifth in her Potter series, and it's to be about nine hundred pages. Wow, nine hundred pages. Associated Press has reported. June 21st, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix has the first printing of 6.8 million copies. Compared to J.K. Rowling's previous Potter novel, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire came out in July of 2000 was the first printing was 3.8 million. It sold out within 48 hours. 3.8 million books sold out in 48 hours. And now has over 16 million copies in print. And every one of these has their own big, big fat devil attached with them. Every one of them. Talk about bringing the accursed thing into your house. I mean, they had to go out and stone Aiken and his whole family and kill him and bury all his possessions because he brought the accursed thing from Jericho into the into the uh, camp. And it defiled the camp. They lost the Battle of Ai. I think they lost like 36 guys. And they had to go out and stone... Could you imagine how much cursed things are in the average Christian's house today? And they had to stone Aiken and his family for bringing in a few things? Tell you what, it's pretty sobering. You start thinking about it. So this, despite Scholastics announced twenty nine ninety nine suggested retail price. Now, if you flip twenty nine ninety nine over, you've got six six six. If you look at that, you flip twenty nine ninety nine over, you got six six six, and then an upside down two. Just so you know, nines upside down or sixes. I, I'm just you know, hey. Call me paranoid, but, you know, is, 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 is there any wonder? I think they would have liked to put it at $6.66, but they couldn't have made any profit off that, probably. So the highest ever, this is the highest ever retail for a new work of children's fiction. I mean, what a rip-off. A deluxe edition of The Order of Phoenix, priced at $60, will have its first printing of $350,000. So that's, that's going to run you 60 bucks. Far more copies than most conventional publications. The deluxe edition includes a full case cloth cover with gold embossing, which will slide into a special slip box. Isn't that nice? Expected sales for the Order of Phoenix has topped the bestseller list of Amazon.com. 
Author J.K. Rowling is 34 years old. She lives and writes in Scotland. She's the graduate of Exeter University and is a teacher. She's a married journalist and a young has a young daughter named Six. She's divorced now and moved back to Edinburgh in 1993. Among the things she loves, she states, is Halloween. At the time she was writing, she was the single parent and penniless, living on unemployment benefits. Oh, poor J.K. Rowling. She had to write her witchcraft mo mo thing to, to make ends meet. She is, she is stunned with the success of the books. She probably made a deal with the devils, which she did. You know, you don't get to the success level and not, and not do that. I, you know, it's well known in rock music these guys make deals with the devil to get to where they get. Rowling says the story came in an unusual way for the Harry Potter book. She was taking a long train journey from Manchester to London, England in 1990 when she was struck on a delayed train, stuck on a delayed train, and the idea for Harry just fell into her head. It took her five years to write it, but throughout that time period she came, everything came fully formed, as did the idea for his sidekicks, the characters of Ron and Hermione who came flooding into my head. At that point it was essentially the idea for a boy who didn't know he was a wizard. In a wizard school he ended up going to, the author has described herself as, I have a very visual imagination. I see it, then I try to describe it in my mind's eye. I can't prove this author is involved in New Age in some way, but this certainly sounds like the language. Many musical artists who are, who are in the occult have testified to songs just coming into their heads, so the source does not seem to be all from her. Um... BBC News stated, October 17, 1999, Harry Potter books fight back rolling. This is from the BBC. Though, there are those things in the, book, in the book because I made it a very conscious decision right at the beginning that I was writing about something evil, and I, and I was not going to tell a lie, said J.K. Rowling. I think they're very more, more moral books. I see children as innately good unless they've been very damaged. That's where I'm coming from. The fact that the parents are portrayed as evil, she admits, is planned this way in the story. What kind of message does this send? That the parents are the evil ones and the children are the good ones? But that's the stories. That's how they portray them. Oh, parents are just these evil stick in the muds that want to make us, you know, clean our room and eat all the peas on our plate or whatever. Children are innately good unless they've all been very damaged. That's not what the Bible says. That's not what the Bible says. The Bible says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. For all of our righteousness are as filthy rags, and we are altogether an unclean thing from the beginning. From the very beginning. We are born into sin. And in sin did my mother conceive me, and I was shaped in iniquity. The psalmist said, uh, David said that in Psalm 51. So, you know... This is absolutely, totally contradictory to the Word of God. Everything about these books. So, what is most puzzling is that parents read the book and seem to overlook the example and not the so subtle message it sends. See, that, even the parents read it and they say, oh yeah, these parents are just sticks in the mud. It's okay. You know why? Because they're under a spell. Reading the books, they're under a spell. That's why you don't want to go watch these movies and you don't want to read the books. Harry Potter, an 11-year-old wizard in training who is competing for the attention of young children next to Pokemon. This book is so successful that the Pokemon is so successful that, like the Pokemon movie, it will have its own debut in 2001. Now, this is again, this is a little bit dated. Some of the stuff that I'm reading here, and I think what we've done is we've got the point across here today of what we're dealing with here. Um, I can email you. Uh, further stuff, we've, we're already past two hours, and I've got way more to go, but I, I, I think the gist of it is, is what we, what we've needed to see, um, this stuff's pure witchcraft, it's straight from the pit of hell, God is a black and white God, he's not a gray God, and this is evil, this isn't even something that you have to have a high level of discernment to really, but the problem is, is that the pastors aren't preaching against it very much, not many, and there's many out there that are advocating it. Worse yet, like you've got these big mainstream guys. And all of these Christians are out there putting their trust in men. And they're not putting their trust in the Word of God. If they just read the Bible, they could quickly ascertain and discern that this is evil. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and end there. I'm going to go ahead and close this out in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time that you've given us, Lord God in heaven. I pray, Lord God, that you would forgive us for any and all sins that we've committed, Lord God, in any way, shape, and form, that you would, that you would cleanse us of presumptuous sins and secret faults, that they would not have dominion over us, Lord. 
that the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart would be pleasing in your sight, O Lord. And that, Lord God, that we would forgive any of those that have sinned against us in any way, shape, and form. I pray, Lord God, for your protection over the body of Christ, over these little ones, Lord God, that would read these books and be indoctrinated into this. I pray to God